demonstration of Proteus here, the VCV rack version. And uh, before I explain it too much, I'm just going to let it play. Proteus is a generative sequencer, so what it does is it makes melodies and it's going to repeat them and change them over time. So the lights across the top represent the step of the sequence. I'm going to slow this down a little bit to talk about it. The green light represents the start of the sequence, and we can change the length of the sequence here from 8 beats up to 32. I'm going to leave it at 8 for now. And the brightness of the lights represents the probability that Proteus is going to shift to a new melody. So each time it repeats, the probability of a new melody increases. The lights get a little bit brighter. And as those lights get brighter, we know that the probability of a new melody is increasing. That probability is controlled by this lambda factor here. Lambda represents the probability of a shift so the way this works is that once we get to we're set to 15 right now once we get to 15 repetitions that means Proteus has about a 50% chance of repeating and this uh, follows a uh, it's not a linear function so we're, we're virtually guaranteed to have the melody repeat a few times and as we approach this lambda value the, it probably shoots up pretty quickly we can change the density of the melody here. This is essentially the probability of rest notes. So we can completely fill up the uh, melody by turning this all the way up to 100%. We can, can make it completely filled. This button down here will force a new pattern immediately if I press it. The lights flash white when Proteus makes a new melody. If we turn the density all the way down, Something more like this. A little bit of a delay on there, so just to make this drier so you can hear the melody itself. We can change the scale uh, with this knob here, so there's a, a few scales built in here. This only affects the new melodies that are created, so it's not going to shift until we get a new melody. You can hear the difference there. While the melody is repeating, it has some chance of transposing octave and changing notes that are controlled by these two knobs and their respective C CV inputs. This mode button, if we shift to the center mode, the lights are going to change color 
And now we've turned off the chance that Proteus will create a new melody. It's still free to transpose and to mutate the current melody, but it's going to stay with this melody indefinitely now. If I shift this all the way to the right towards the lock symbol, it's no longer going to transpose or mutate. It's just going to repeat exactly as it is. Proteus makes a new melody, it's not just choosing notes randomly, it's uh, choosing notes from the scale with a, a weight, a weighted probability distribution depending on the note of the scale, and it also prefers repeats and um, adjacent notes to make little runs, which makes the melodies more melodic than if it were just choosing the notes randomly. Let's get a little bit longer sequence. Drop this 15. 